Today we're going to go over how to solve some larger equations that require multiple steps. Then you'll have a chance to practice. Here's the first equation. 5x plus 3 plus 4x plus 2 equals 10. Well, to get started with this equation, it helps to unpack the 5x. 5x means we have 5x's. x plus x plus x plus x plus x, we could say. Next in our equation, we have plus 3. We'll just write that down, plus 3. But then we have four more x's, which we could write as plus one, two, three, four more x's. Finally, on this side of the equation, we have a plus two. We'll just leave that as plus two. Now, if you were to count out the total number of x's we have, you could count we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could just write that we have nine x's. And this makes sense. We had five x's and we added four. 5 plus 4 just gives us 9. In the rest of our equation, we have the plus 3 and the plus 2. If you combine 3 and 2, you'll just get plus 5. And we know on the other side of the equal sign, it just equals 10. Now this looks a lot more familiar and we can solve. We cancel out the plus 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. When you solve this step, what do you get? Well, the plus 5 and minus 5 cancel out. You're left with just 9x. On the other side of the equation, 10 minus 5 just gives us 5. Now all that's left is canceling out the 9. You can do that by dividing by 9, which will cancel out, giving you just an x. On the other side of the equation, you can take your 5 and also divide by 9. We'll write our answer as a fraction and say x is equal to 5 ninths. Let's solve one of these together. Let's look at the equation 3x plus 4 minus 7x minus 5 equals 6. Well, we're going to start by combining the terms that have x's. So we'll look at the 3x and the minus 7x. What's 3 minus 7? Well, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So we'll say we have negative 4x. Then we need to combine the plus 4 and the minus 5. If you combine those, what do you get? Well, 4 minus 5 will leave us with minus 1, and then we know this whole equation is equal to 6. Now we can go about solving it. What's the first thing I should cancel? Well, I should get rid of the minus 1 by adding 1 to both sides. When you do this, what do you get? Well, the minus 1 and plus 1 cancel out. You're left with just negative 4x. On the other side of the equation, 6 plus 1 equals 7. Now we have to get rid of the negative 4. We can do that by dividing by negative 4. That cancels out, leaving us with just x. On the other side of the equation, 7 divided by negative 4, we'll just write as a fraction. x is equal to negative 7 fourths. Let's look at another equation together. Let's look at the equation 3x plus 4 minus 7x minus 5x equals 8 plus 4 minus 2. Whew. Well, first we'll start by combining all of the terms on the left that have x. So we'll take the 3x, the minus 7x, and the minus 5x. When you combine that, what do you get? Well, 3 minus 7 minus 5 will give us negative 9. So we have negative 9x. Then on the left side, we also have the plus 4. We'll just add in plus 4. On the other side of the equal sign, what do we get when we combine all of the terms? Well, if we take 8 and add 4, that's 12, and then minus 2, that's 10. Now we can solve this like a regular equation. I'll start by getting rid of the plus 4 by subtracting 4 from each side. Solve this step, what do you get? Well, the plus 4 and the minus 4 cancel out, so you're left with just negative 9x. On the other side, 10 minus 4 gives you 6. Now to get rid of the negative 9, what can we do? To get rid of that, you can divide by negative 9. That'll cancel out and leave you with just x. On the other side of the equation, 6 divided by negative 9, you could write as a fraction negative 6 ninths. But before you get excited, let's think about this fraction, 6 over 9. How could you simplify this fraction? Well, to simplify a fraction, think about what you can divide both the top and the bottom by. Both 6 and 9 can be divided by 3. When you solve this out, 6 divided by 3 gives you 2, and on the bottom, 9 divided by 3 gives you 3. 
So a better way to write our answer is that x is equal to negative two-thirds. Now it's time for you to try some on your own. Let's look at the equation 4x plus 3 plus 2x minus 5 equals 10. What is x equal to? Well, you should have started by combining all of the terms with x. 4x plus 2x. If you do that, 4 plus 2 gives you 6x. Then you need to combine the plus 3 and the minus 5. 3 minus 5 will give you minus 2. And this is all equal to 10. Then this is just a two-step equation. You start by canceling the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides. When you solve this, minus 2 and plus 2 cancel out, so you're left with just 6x. On the other side, 10 plus 2 gives you 12. Now you have to get rid of the 6 by dividing by 6. That'll cancel out and leave you x. On the other side, 12 divided by 6 gives you your answer of 2. And here's the last equation for today. 5x plus 1 minus 3x plus 5 plus 1x equals 7. What is x equal? Well, you need to start by combining all of the terms with x. 5x minus 3x plus 1x. Well, 5 minus 3 is 2, and 2 plus 1 will give you 3x. Then you can combine your plus 1 and your plus 5 to get a total of plus 6. And this is all equal to 7. Next, you need to cancel out the plus 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. When you do this, the plus 6 and minus 6 cancel out. You're left with just 3x. On the other side, 7 minus 6 is 1. Now to get rid of the 3, you divide by 3. That'll cancel out and leave you with x. On the other side of the equation, you'll take your 1 and divide by 3. You can just leave that as a fraction and say x is equal to 1 third. From today, remember, simplify your equations before you go about solving them.